Hi, my name is Hui Chenghu. Now I am a PhD student in Institute of Functional Level and Soft Materials of Suzhou University. In this video, we will introduce a new perspective in nanoparticle self-assembly. Self-assembly, according to George Whiteside, is an autonomous organization of components into patterns or structure without human intervention. It applies throughout the whole nature range from weather system, flooding wood, to the bunch of fish and crystals. In nanoscale, self-assembly of nanoparticles is hard to well control. Sometimes only random clusters can be obtained. So we designed the general scope organosilica nanostructure to realize controllable self-assembly. The genus nanoparticle is stable in solution under the balance between van der Waals attraction of nanoparticles and electrostatic repulsion force applied by kept positive charge CTAB surfactant. If we reduce the surface charge by adding ethanol, which can dissolve more surfactant molecules, the genus nanoparticle will assemble it into dimers due to the static hindrance. And the assembly's nanostructure can be disassembled when they are redispersed in CTAB solution under ultrasonication. Nanoparticles are something very small which cannot be seen by the naked eye, so we make this self-assembly process visible with the help of transmission electron microscope. This process also can be demonstrated by UVV spectra. The plasma peak of Genos nanoparticle is at around 530 nanometer, which shows a red solution color. After assembly, a distinct peak at about 617 nanometer was observed because of the plasmonic coupling between gold nanoparticles, with solution color changed from red to purple. After disassembly, the second peak disappeared, and solution color turned into red again. Here is the self-assembly process. Hello, my name is Fei Ji, and I am the uh, co-first author of this project. Right now, I'm a PhD student in University of California, San Diego and I'm going to introduce the rest part of this project. Steric hindrance plays an important role in the self-assembly process. Theoretically, when the ratio of gold particle size and organosilic size is small, there will be a very tiny possibility for these genus particles to form dimers. With the increase of size ratio, the possibility for gold particles to contact with each other will be higher. If we further increase the size ratio, there will be even a chance to form trimers. To confirm this idea, we synthesize different sizes of gold particles while keeping the size of organosilic part identical to get different size ratios. And it turns out when gold particle size is 24 nanometers, only 10% dimers are formed, and no trimers or multimers. After we increase the particle size to 44 nanometers, the percentage of dimers increases up to 70% and the trimers start to emerge. With a further increase of gold particle size to 62 nanometers, the proportion of trimers increases to around 56%, and some quatrimers can be found. UV spectra provides another perspective on this evolution process. For the second peak, a shoulder started to develop in the longer wavelengths when the size of gold particles was around 24 nanometers, indicating a small amount of assembled aggregates. With larger particle size, a distinct peak at around 670 nanometers emerged due to a higher degree of dimerization. Finally, this peak redshifted to around 725 nanometers because of the trimerization of nanoparticles, while the shoulder at longer wavelengths can be ascribed to the plasmodic coupling of quatrimers. In previous reported self-assembly methods utilizing cross-linked molecules as linkers, the bonding selectivity between linkers and nanoparticles cannot be neglected which often limits the versatility of those approach. Since the Venable's attraction force is universal, the method reported in this research can also be applied to various metal materials. Silver and palladium are demonstrated here to, uh, to prove the versatility of this approach. The ability to precisely organize coordinate particles into dimers or trimers allows us to take full advantage of near-field coupling for application inserts. It is well known that source activity of noble metals depends not only on its intrinsic properties, but
but also on the particle size, shape, and in particle distance. When two neighboring metallic nanoparticles are illuminated, an intense electromagnetic field, so-called hotspot, can appear. In this research, diamonds and trimers are found to have 650 times and 1,200 times stronger signal than their monomers, respectively. In summary, this is a linker-free method which can be achieved in large scales, low cost. Dimerization and trimerization can be realized by manipulation of steric hindrance. This is a general approach which can be applied to various metal materials.